Hello YouTubers and today we're going to be reviewing Doctor Who the 11th Doctor Sonic Screwdriver so I'm going to s I've got this today I've already opened it it's just in the packaging so I'll show you it Let's do. here it is the thing in the packaging and um, let me just move it back a little bit you can see it um, it's a bit sorry about the blurriness. Um, and that's the packaging. You've got a picture of Matt Smith here uh, with like a prop sonic screwdriver because it's not the real one. It says here spring loaded extended action. The new Doctor Who logo here, which is awesome. Um, character website 5 years and plus. And light and sound effects, and then in there you've got the actual sonic screwdriver. So let me just get it in, and we can get into action. You may hear some noises. Oh yeah, there yeah, goes. Right. So let's here it is the sonic screwdriver in all its glory. Right, you've probably seen some reviews already, but. I can reassure you, I'm going to show you every possible feature. So, here we go. Right, so starting from the top, you've got new green light, which obviously lights up. And um, then you've got the four claws, which come up. You've got uh, very well detailed stubby bits with gold. Um, real metal bits here real screws, not fake ones, even though you don't need to undo them but gold here, this may look like leather it's not, it's plastic, shamefully this is like a piece of white, oh yeah there's a gold ring there um, white uh, white bumpy bit of plastic and then the gold cap at the bottom, or gold bit at the bottom right so now the features Obviously I've already showed you the lighting up of it. And then you've got the extending action. Uh, the only con is that you can see the wire. Um, so yeah. But yeah, you can see a lot more in this view. Um, and you can see the batteries and like this button. Um, you can't actually use this button when it's open as it said in all the reviews, but instead you're supposed to use this button down here this red button see but I don't like it so what I do is the button above the button, so you see that button there and you the button when you press that in down mode that's what will activate what I do so I just press that um yeah and then to push to get it back down you just push the green nib bearing in mind this thing is big but a lot of people in their reviews say oh yeah it's too big i don't think it is i think it's perfect it's just perfect enough to do that it's just brilliant um yes it is longer than the Russell T Davis magic wand but still um, yeah and now I'm going to show you some hidden features that I don't know you might have found them but you never know you've got you may think you've only got this noise and this noise but you haven't you've got two additional noises you've got this noise this noise and then if you press this button three times Oh yeah, I'm sorry. This is the light button. That's the extended action button. Um, yeah, if you press, so you've got this noise, this noise, and then if you press this button three, this button three times, you've got which I don't know what it is. It could be some sort of laser, but you'll find out later in the series. And if you press this button four times, you get a broken, flickering sonic screwdriver. Um, yeah. 
So all in all, I give this a 10 out of 10 because I think it's a great toy. Brilliant. And if you're a collector, even better. But, um... Yeah, so, um... It's a good toy, so... Thanks for watching this review, and I will be coming at you next, probably, I don't know yet, probably with the Doctor Who Twin Pack. Thanks for watching. This has been a um, good review. So yeah, 10 out of 10. Go buy it in Toys R Us for 14.99. I leave you with this.